Hello guys, welcome to another video in this series of tutorial on Angular material with Angular. In the previous video, we have learned how to add date picker in our Angular application using Angular material and customization of that Angular material. In this video, let's learn how to restrict user selection to particular dates. That is nothing but when you can see in the previous example, the date picker which we have added here don't have any restriction. User can select any dates here. They can go to different months and different years and they can select any date here. There might be some scenarios where you want to restrict a date range to the users. For example, if you want to restrict user to select dates of only this month, you can restrict it to the current month so that user cannot go to next month and select the next month's date. So let's see how we can achieve that one in our application. Let me open a code editor first for that one. Currently I have only one header by name date picker. Let me add one date picker now here and save it and preview this one before applying restriction to this date picker. When we click on date picker, a pop-up is being displayed and we can see any dates of any month can be chosen by the user. As we want to restrict the dates here, we need to make use of TypeScript file and here we need to define the dates. So for that one, let me create one date as min date and it will be of the type date object. So let me create first date object. Now we have created the minimum date object here and you can observe here the format of this date is first we need to define the year then month and the third parameter will be date. As we have created minimum date let's add this minimum date as a restriction to the date picker. To add a restriction to this date picker we need to make use of this input field which we have added earlier. Here we have a property by name minimum. In that one, we can mention the variable or the date object which we have created here. So now let's save this one and go back to browser to preview how it looks. Now if you click on the date picker, you can observe that the previous dates are now disabled. So we cannot navigate to the previous dates. And in the year picker also, if you click on the year drop down, you can observe the previous years are disabled now. And if you click on the year, you can observe previous months also disabled now. Similarly, how we have defined or restricted these previous months or previous dates, you can restrict the next dates as well by providing the maximum date. For that one, let me go back to the code editor, open the TypeScript file and create another date object as max date. And for this one, I will define the maximum date as 31st. Usually these dates will be defined by fetching a date from a database or dynamically whenever we are using in our real time scenarios. But for this example, I am adding this manually. So let's copy this maximum date and come back to HTML template file. Similar to minimum property, we need to mention max property. When we'll add max property within the double quotation, will mention this max date date object whichever we have created. Now save the both files and go back to browser. App reloaded now. Now if I click on the date picker you can observe the next and previous month selections are disabled. If you click on years you can observe only current year and within this one only current month is enabled now. This is one of the useful feature of Angular Materials date picker. Whenever you want to restrict the user to enter dates between any range or you want them to enter only few dates. So that's it guys for this video. Thanks for watching this. If you like this video, please click on like button, share it with others and subscribe to my channel.